This is Lockin's brand new release, the G30 Smart Lock, a beautiful and minimalistic looking smart home lock that you can install quite easily in your existing doors, of course, or rather on them, of course, available for all sorts of doors as well, European standard, US standard, you name it. And if for whatever reason you can not exchange your existing door lock, then there is also an alternative for that, but this shall remain a mystery until the end of the video. Got the new drip from locking their new G30 smart lock and also this lock box right here. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So there we go. Let's remove the wrap. So we have the lock and also the keypad. This on the bottom, this on the top, this on the back, this on the side, this on the other side. Let's start with the keypad. Battery is included, love to see that. Quick start guide, keypad itself, and the rest of the accessories right here. And now the lock, so this on top, and then we also have this, another box with accessories, and right here the lock itself. Okay, I think that's it. So let's go straight to the accessories. Check out this little quick start guide for the keypad. Specs right here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and there we go. Multi-language and then a bag with all the accessories with the screws and the wall mounting plate. Nice, that's that. Then for the smart lock we have this USB-C right here and this cover on the rubber ring. That is the Wi-Fi bridge. Then we have this box and inside here we have the charging cable USB-C to USB-A. Then we have this bracket for wall mounting it. And we also have the tools and the screws for everything. And also this magnet right here. Ah, there it is, magnet. And lastly, we also have this envelope thing in here. And in here we have this guide for marking the door and stuff. Then we also have the installation instructions and the quick start guide. And in our case, this is for the European standard. Then we also have this and this and this. And lastly, we also have the quick start guide for both the lock and for the Wi-Fi bridge. So page one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Right on, right on. So this could also be the, you know, not a charging cable, but the cable for the for the Wi-Fi bridge. Done with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. So here we have the keypad. Nice buttons right there. And this is the fingerprint version, so you can also register your fingerprints. Pretty neat. We have this on the back. So yeah, it would just slide onto the wall. Pretty cool. And here we have the lock, the lock-in lock. Ah, the batteries are already pre-installed, four of them. When you remove them, you need to recalibrate it, are all right. This on the back, and when you turn it, there is this mechanism, pretty cool. All right, let's take a close look. So, well, not much more to see, I guess. We have looked at the sides in detail, I guess, and also bottom and top, yeah. And when it gets to the lock, we have the base plate right here. This will go onto the wall and then, yeah, something like that. Ah, this is also a button right here and the status LED light. Yeah, I guess we just need to get right to it. Not bad, right? So next up, let's check out the app, then install it and then of course test it. So lock and keypad, now it's time for the phone. So let's get the app, lock in, lock in home. Easy as that. All right, there we go, let's open it up. Agree, let's sign up. Okay, there we go, there we go. So let's click on the plus or click on add device, enable Bluetooth and the location, nearby devices, allow, all right, okay. There we go. So it discovered the lock box, but the lock. Ah, okay, makes sense. There is this little strip in here, this little, and this will of course prevent the batteries from getting drained. Good stuff. So now we should be able to find it. Pairing mode, 
Okay, let's just go for the manual. So, okay, we did that. Oh, three seconds. Now it's in the pairing mode. So when you press the button, then it will also get discovered probably. That's fine. That's fine with me. Let's see. Hmm. Push lock body, I don't know which one it is. Actually, I can use the key to move the both. I have this one piece lock body. Oh, but I haven't installed it, of course. <laughs> so it's currently locked. We have me, bind device. All right, we have this and we have member management. Then we have the keypad management. Okay, we need to edit first. Then we have automation. And then we have the settings. Remote unlock, remote voice unlock, auto lock, alarm unlock and this tone volume. So, let's see. All right. So, this way we can lock it and unlock it, it's funny. All right, so this concludes the app overview and now, yeah, we need to install it. Oh, actually, wait, there is a scene. You can also create a scene and there is also your user, basically right there, home management, message center, and we can also connected to Alexa and Google Voice Assistant, pretty top. Let's get to it. So this is my door and this is super DIY. This is a stepper motor that will open the door with an Arduino. You can also open it with a key card on the other side. And <laughs> this took me many, many hours to build. And the G30 can basically do the same because it will also just turn the key. And this one will also basically turn the key. So I will now get rid of all of that and this will replace all of that. Way simpler, just four AA batteries. Everyone can do it. So as you can see, I have removed all my old stuff, but I cannot use my old lock. And I also can't use my old, old lock because it is of the essence that you get one that you can lock and unlock from both sides simultaneously. It's not possible with this one. So I had to get myself a new one and this one, you can lock and unlock from both sides. And this should be a no-brainer safety standard nowadays anyways. And since I'm going for this awesome upgrade, I also thought, hey, why not get a new door handle? This one is looking terrible. So that's a new one, looking way nicer. So there we go. Wow, this turned out to be quite a, a project. I have renewed this whole section. New door handle is looking fire and the new lock is already in place. Although I made a mistake because this is a little bit too long. This will fit perfectly, but as you can see, there is a gap between this part and the door. If you have the same issue, don't worry, that's nothing that a screw and a few washers can fix. So just one screw and it's already super stable. And I haven't even screwed in these three screws. So let's do it. So there we go. And now this is solid as a rock. This little gap is no problem. What I also did was to wrap the key a few times in duct tape. It's obviously built for handling metal contacts, but, but I think this will make it more quiet and also it's better for the lifespan, I think. Yeah, now I'm ready to install it. Little screw holes right here, by the way. So that's good. Let's align it and hook it in. Oh, so nice. And lastly, of course, the two little screws that I just mentioned. Okay, there we go. Just did it off camera. Super stable. Let's go. Let's insert the batteries. And here we go. And lastly, let's close it up. Sweet. So that's working. Yeah, now it's time to install the sensor. And for this, you will get this pattern right here, this card. And you basically need to place a sensor in this area. So just like that. Yeah, and this completes installation. Looking good. So let's see. First of all, we of course need to calibrate it. Oh, that's just the notification, of course. Settings, initial setup guide, that's a good idea. So we have the one piece lock body because we can also move the latch. Although it's quite hard. We have everything in place, so let's start the calibration fully. Just like that, yes, okay. Next. Okay, this, that's a bad idea with the latch. That's a really bad idea. I need to do it 
I need to do it with a push lock body because this is jamming basically. So, okay, let's do it this way. That's probably a way better idea in my case. So, fully eject. Like that. Fully retract. Like that. Okay, let's open it up. Okay. Okay, let's go. Yeah, auto lock definitely. Auto lock delay, five seconds probably. Let's go. Okay, so let's see. Door is closed. Door opened. Wow. Okay, let's see. Will it lock automatically? Yes. That is so cool, I love it. Auto lock is so genius. You just close the door after you and it will lock itself. That is the best. That was also the reason why I built the previous project so that I don't have to lock the door all the time. And this will do it, but just straight out of the box. And with this slider, we can also lock it, but well, it's of course already locked. We can also unlock it. All right, so yeah, with this, when it's connected to the Wi-Fi, you can remotely unlock it. Pretty genius. I could unlock it for a third party, but for now, I don't plan on doing that. So I will disable it just to be safe. Ah, that is so convenient. And lastly, let's get the keypad into the mix because there is a fingerprint sensor on there. So I can unlock it with my thumb. That would be the best. So let's insert the batteries and let's close it up again. Okay, just like that. So there we have the keypad management. Let's add one. Press the unlock button three times. All right, pairing mode. Now we should be able to find it. Ah, we actually need to add a device right here. Ah, this is how it works. There we go. All right, easy as that. And now we have this, we have unlock records, we have key, password, we have this bound lock and smart linkage and key tone. Okay, ah, okay. And I will do the same for the smart lock as well. I will go for a low tone. So let's add a fingerprint. Oh, okay, we need to bind the lock first. Okay, let's go. Of course, this, this one. Okay, there we go. And now we can add a fingerprint for this lock. This thumb. Super fast and responsive, I like it. There we go. Right thumb, boom. Good stuff. Unlock, well, let's see. Nice. And with the plate, we can of course install it on the outside of the door easily. So, and there we go. it will automatically lock the door. And when I want to enter, I just do this. So as you saw, it works perfectly. It looks great. So big thumbs up from my side. So as you saw, the install was quite simple and straightforward. Looks great. The app is nice too. It does what it's supposed to do really well. And especially for this price point, it is super dope, I have to say. Regarding the installation, a little bit of DIY skills are of course needed. But if it's too complicated for you or just not possible for whatever reason, then check this out. This is a great alternative to this upgrade for your door. And with this, you can go semi-smart, I guess. This is such a great idea. You can literally just hang it onto your door lock. Zero install efforts needed. It is absolutely genius. I've never seen something like it. It's 
absolutely genius. So this is their Lockbox L1 and they told me that most buyers are small businesses that will use this lockbox for their offices or shops to share a mechanical key. Also, there are Airbnb owners who use this, but of course you can use it for many, many more things than that. I, for example, I'm thinking about the flat of my grandparents. Wall-mounted lockboxes are pretty much everywhere nowadays, but the install is really complex and in most cases you will also need a permit. So this is a really neat solution for all of these problems. A lockbox that you can install in seconds. I mean, how cool is that? That is that is amazing. So they came up with a something great for sure and both of these devices, including the keypad of course, are a definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. I will listen link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.